Okay, and this next one, we're going to be working on the pattern. So what we're doing is we're copying this pattern. So the first thing I'm going to do, copy the whole, I'm going to right click, click on new sketch. I'm going to project my geometry from the bottom. Okay. And the reason you want to do that is so that all of the lines will be projected on top of the plane. Okay. So now you should be able to do offset. I'm going to grab right here so I can grab all the lines. So at, at this little corner, I'm going to click on dimension. Dimension, the width of this is to be 0.5. Okay. And then I should be able to um, have my offset line. Then I'm going to go to rectangular pattern. The feature that I want to copy is the hole right here. So I'm just going to select the hole and it's, it's been selected. The direction will be the offset curve. The instances is going to be 16. The spacing is going to be the curb length. Okay, so now the part where it's kind of, you know, starting, it's like offset a little bit, we need to tell it where to start. So I want it to start right here in the center. And then everything should line up and then hit OK. So now to measure this, okay, you want to go over to inspect, measure. You can click, I believe, this hole to this hole, and then it will tell you how the distance. Okay, the next one we have is number eight, and we're creating holes with this. So we need to open a pivot arm. Okay, so my pivot arm right here. So the first hole that I'm going to create is a counterbore diameter. So I'm going to go up to hole. I'm going to deselect all three because the only hole I'm going to, uh, to choose is this hole right here. And it needs to be a counterbore diameter. So it's a counterbore with a counterbore diameter of 0.35 counterboard depth of 0 0.1, 0 0.1, clearance hole diameter is um, 0.125, that's what that is, and it needs to go through all, so we need to make sure it goes through all, okay, and then hit okay, and then you have your first hole, okay, so now I want to be able to see my sketches again, so I'm going to right click on sketch and make sure it's visible, so the holes are visible on top here, and I'm going to go to the next two holes, which are the same, these are two countersink holes, so I'm going to go and it's must got two selected, I'm going to click countersink, and it says to add a countersink diameter of 0.25, okay, countersink, countersink angle of 82 degrees, and a clearance hole diameter of 0.125 and then through all okay and I'm gonna hit okay okay what is the surface area of the part so if you're asking for the surface area of the part you want to right click on eye properties physical update and then the um, the surface area will be the area Okay, on this one, we're opening up cover. On number nine, we're opening up cover. So on cover, we're supposed to be using the shell feature as well as extrude so that the inside looks as clean as, um, as what you see it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the shell feature, which should be right here, shell. And then I'm going to remove this part, and the thickness should be 0.1. Okay. So now we have to clean it up a little bit. So these ridges right here needs to be um, removed. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new sketch and we're going to connect this line to this line. Okay, so I'm going to zoom in to make sure I grab it from this line to this line. Okay, and I should be able to, let's see, do the same for this. So I'm going to zoom in to make sure that I have um, all of this, so from this line to this line, okay. Now I'm going to go to extrude and I'm going to remove it. Okay, I'm gonna remove it. So just this part right here, but I'm gonna hit two and I'm gonna click this face right here so it's nice and flat. Let's see if that works. Yep, it did, okay. So I'm gonna do it for both of them, so let me Go over here, highlight. This is wrong. I don't know. Oh, okay, I think I want to do. Let's see. Let's see if it lets me click both. No, it doesn't. That's okay. So just one. Okay. So I'm going to go to this right here on this side, create a sketch. I'm going to do the same thing again. 
So I think it only lets you do one at a time. So I'm going to click this point over to this point. Okay. And then I should be able to extrude. Just grab this part. Yep. So grab that part. I'm going to put two. I want to extrude it to, um, let's see, this instance right here. And I want it to cut through it. Okay. And hit OK. And it should be flat. Okay. Last part is to create a sketch on here. So I'm going to right click, new sketch. Okay. It's going to create the part. And I'm going to extrude. It's going to go in. I'm just going to cut it through all. And then hit OK. And that should be it I believe yes that should be it it looks just like the part so let's go to home okay there we go so now it says what is the total surface area so you want to right click I properties and then physical update and it should be on there all right in this part we're going to open up the end cap we're going to use the red feature so go up to um end cap where is the end cap Okay. And then I believe it's on the bottom. Yep, it's on the bottom here. We need to add a rib feature. Um, I'm going to search rib feature, which looks like this. Okay, this guy right here. Okay, the profile, I'm going to select all of these lines. Okay. Uh, thickness is 0.1 and it needs to extend to the part. Let's see. So... Um, it needs to be finite. Okay, so finite. So this needs to be extending to the part by 0.21, I believe, 0 0.25, 125. And then um, draft of the degrees. Where is that degree? Okay, so we'll click on draft, and then the angle that I wanted to draft is 15 degrees. And I'm going to hit OK, and that should be it. And it says, what is the total surface area? You want to right click, go to eye properties, go to physical, click the update. Okay. And this next one, we're wanting the circumference. Circumference is just perimeter around the edge. It says of the part where the work plane passes through the part. So I need to open up section. So go to section, open that up. Okay. So we have our work plane right here. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new sketch on the work plane, and I'm actually going to turn it this way. So I'm going to do it from the left plane. We're going to create a rectangle onto this plane. It's going to go, um, you want it it's bigger than the object that you're cutting. Imagine the, if you have a knife and you're cutting that, this is what the rectangle is going to do. Okay, then I'm going to go 3D model, I'm going to extrude. Okay. But I'm not going to add, I'm going to cut. Okay, so it's going to cut out the part of this so that I can find the perimeter. Does it really matter how big? Okay, then I'm going to go to measure, inspect, measure. I'm going to measure this and it will tell you exactly what the perimeter is. And that's it. Okay, on this last one, number 12, we want to find the angle between um, the two parts. So we're going to have to create a work plane that passes through the center and then um, the default XY plane with two decimal places precision. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the perforated, let's see, plate. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is I want to create a plane through um, this center point, this center point, as well as um, the bottom center point. So I'm going to first right click, um, go to new sketch. I'm going to project the geometry just from the top, just so that I have um, all of the information that I need. Okay, I'm going to hit accept. Go back to home for now. I'm going to go to, um, I believe, planes. Okay, planes. I'm going to create a three-point plane. So the first point I'm going to create will be this top point, this middle point, this other point here, and then I need another point. So I don't see that point anywhere. So let me make see if I can make any of these visible. Um, let's see. Right click on the top plane here. Let's do a new sketch. Let's make sure that we project the geometry. 
from the bottom. Yep. Okay. So make sure that we have a point on the top and a point on the bottom and the point um, right here as well. Okay. So now we have everything. Let's try the plane again. So right plane. I'm going to go three points. I'm going to click this point, this point, and this point on the bottom. Okay. And what that does is it creates a work plane for you. Okay. So here's your work plane. You can zoom it out and make it bigger by dragging in the corners or, you know, you can leave it as is. So that's my work plane. Okay. So now what I can do is right click new sketch. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to use a rectangle. I'm just going to make it, you know, as big or bigger than the plane. Okay. And then I should have my rectangle. Okay. So here's my rectangle. I'm going to go up to my origin and I need to have the XY plane visible. So here's the XY plane. I'm going to right click, click on make visible. Okay. I'm going to sketch on this plane as well. So right click, new sketch. I'm going to create another rectangle on this as well. Okay. And I'm going to go here and you can see the two planes. Now I can extrude. So I'm going to go ahead and extrude this first sketch. I'm going to edit the sketch. Let me finish the other sketch first. Yep, I'm going to edit the sketch. I'm going to 3D model, extrude. Okay. Let's see if it works. Extrude. Nope, I need to finish sketch. I need to go 3D model. Let's see. Okay, so I extruded that. I'm going to cut it. Um, I'm going to make it go all the way through. Okay, should be good. And I'm going to hit OK. Okay. And then I'm going to go back and um, make this visible. I just made it invisible. Make my sketch visible. Okay, and then I'm going to right click on this part, um, edit sketch. I should be able to extrude. Okay, so I finished my sketch and I'm going to extrude this part um, the opposite direction. So I want it to go this way. And then through all cut. Okay, and now I should have that slice. So I need to figure out the angle of this. So really simple. All you have to go is to sketch, right click, new sketch on here, go up to uh, dimension. You can dimension, you click this line and this line, and it will show you what the angle is. And you are finished.